Okay, James, I finally figured out what these pockets are for. Good work, because <laughs> I, I haven't figured out what they're for. Check this out. Nice. <laughs> Over the last few weeks, I've learned so much from you and from everything that we've done as I'm getting ready for gear up. So you're going to talk about accessories and what we need. Yeah, so I've got a bunch of accessories set up over here. So let's go check them out. Awesome. So this is some of the products that we need to have on our bicycle for a long ride. Anything over two hours would be considered a long ride. So certainly if you're planning a multi-day event or... If you're just that far away from, the, from your house that it would be a lengthy walk home, you should consider carrying all of these things. It's really, really important that you're able to fix a flat tire. That's <clears throat> probably the number one problem with road bikes. So to carry, to take uh, with you, you should have an inner tube. You should have a patch kit. You could use a, one of these quick flate devices. This is something that allows you to quickly inflate the new tube. And at the very, very least, carry a high quality pump. High quality pumps need to go to at least 120 PSI. That one goes to 160 PSI, so it very easily goes to 100. It's probably helpful to carry some tire levers with you. Tire levers help when your hands are cold, and tire levers do a very, very good job getting your tire off quickly. Now this all fits comfortably in there. You can get a seat bag that's large enough to allow you to get extra things in there, like your phone or perhaps, uh, oh, I don't know, and, uh, another base layer or something. And just to be clear, a bag of this size goes right underneath the saddle. Um, oh, let's not forget to take an Allen key set. An Allen key set's kind of cool because this is, uh, could be quite helpful if you're feeling uncomfortable on your bike. You may be able to lower the seat or raise the seat to ensure that uh, your body's feeling good for those long rides. So this can go in there as well. Now, <clears throat> there's some other things that you'll need. Maybe, um, before the ride. You might consider using a, a product we call chamois butter. And uh, that's spelled chamois, by the way. And the chamois butter is a cream that helps to reduce chafing produced from the friction of your body sitting on a bicycle seat. This is an excellent product. And uh, this particular one is all natural. And it's good for your skin. Some folks prefer to carry this. This is for home use. So some people prefer to carry it with them. And something like this is helpful because the chamois butter is now inside this little packet. And then this little packet could easily be pulled out for a rest stop and uh, put onto the uh, chamois of your cycling short. But here's a caution. Don't mix these two up. This one's chamois butter and this one is food. So food comes in a number of different forms. You've got goo and you have goo chomps. This is kind of like gummy bears, but for, uh, for athletes. And then you have a more substantial bar. A good idea, use these products in training before your big event so that you make sure that they don't disturb your stomach. There's no foregone conclusion that these will work well for you, so it's very, very important to try them. Now you might ask yourself, how do I carry all this stuff with me? Well, <clears throat> the people in the cycling world are ingenious and they've made this little bag. This little bag is referred to loosely as a bento box, and it goes on to the top tube of your bicycle, right behind the stem, and it has a nice little opening, <clears throat> and you can drop your food right in there. In fact, you can put your cell phone in there, your keys, anything that you consider really valuable or that you need quick access for. And then the top just snaps down because it's held in place with a magnet. That is an incredibly helpful tool. You know, other things, speaking of nutrition, you might find that uh, you're the type of person that needs electrolytes. This is something you'll discover in training if you cramp up. And one quick solution for that is to figure out in training what sort of electrolyte solution works for you. There's many, many products. Some are uh, completely without any flavor and some have nice flavors and some even have an effervescent that adds a little bit of tingle to the water, which is a good thing. You can carry this in, in your uh, bento box um, I would suggest that <clears throat> more than one a day is probably uh, a little bit of over uh, burden uh, for your tummy and for your body. You don't want to overdo electrolytes, so uh, be cautious as you're using this stuff. It does work, but <clears throat> like all things in moderation. One other thing that will make the ride really pleasant <clears throat> is if bugs don't get in your eyes. And so, and dirt and anything else flying off the road. You know, we spend so much time talking about safety and, and uh, how to deal with the road, 
um, we really owe it to ourselves to protect our eyes. This pair of eyewear from Riders Eyewear out of Vancouver is photochromatic and so there's no need to carry extra lenses or extra glasses with you. Uh, one pair does all and so that's a really good idea to carry with you. They generally come in a little bag that prevents them from getting scratched as well and if I guess you needed to you could tuck them in your back pocket. But um, this is pretty well everything that you would need to have a fantastic event and uh, as I say before you know go prepared because two hours away from your house on a bike is a very long walk home. Otherwise hey have yourself a great ride.